Hey everybody, hope you're well and you're safe. Uh, I'm gonna do some exercises using the chair and, sorry, the chair, some light dumbbells and we'll probably use the wall and or um, the floor or the chair as another prop by standing up. Um, make sure you warm up before you do any of these exercises. Make sure that you do a stretch routine afterwards and run through these exercises as many times as you like. I'm gonna run through them once. Most of them we're looking at doing 10 to 12 repetitions, uh, either all together or one on each side. And I'll explain that as we go. Enjoy. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a leg hold. So we're gonna hold this one for about 20 seconds. So what I want you guys to do, sitting on the edge of your chair, you're gonna lift your legs up as high as you can Straight is much more difficult than bent. So if you're doing bent, make sure that you bring your knees up as high as you can. We're gonna hold our core nice and tight, keeping this nice and stable. And like I said, harder is out here. Five, four, three, two, and there's 20. Excellent. In that same position, what I want you to do, we're gonna use a little bit of our hip flexors with this one. So. Legs up just like this, we're gonna push out and back in. Out and back in. Almost like a squat or a leg press, just like this. If you find that this is too tough, you can do one at a time. Eight, nine, and 10. Again, you wanna do 10 on the opposite leg. I'm just gonna rotate this around for you. Grabbing your leg dumbbells, Shoulders back, up nice and tall. You're gonna curl straight up and back down. Up, three. Again, we're gonna go through these about 10 to 12 repetitions. I'm gonna go through all of these exercises at least once. And if you can, do it as many times as you like. Just remember, give yourself a break in between each exercise or after every circuit. So run through all of the exercises once that's a circuit, all right? We're gonna go two more, one, and done. Awesome. We're gonna put those down. Like I said, if you want, you can brace the chair up against the wall, making sure that everything's nice and tight, a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. You can come down and push up. If you've got the back of a couch, that's always great, but again, what you want to do is stabilize this up against the wall so it doesn't shift around. So that was three, or you can do a wall. So up nice and tall, up against the wall. We're going to come down, touch your nose, and back up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll do two more, why not? and 12, excellent. You can also use the stairs and do it that way as well. What we're gonna do, just off to the side, what I want you to do is you're gonna bring your arm up like this and we're gonna go elbow to knee. We're gonna do our core. So over, two, three. So we're just gonna tap our foot. We're not actually gonna apply pressure and actually put weight on this foot here. Seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Make sure you do that on the opposite side as well. So we're gonna go from there to tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna use those light weights again. So bending at the hip, nice flat back from shoulders to hips. If you find that this gives you a little bit of lower back pain, foot back in a lunge position and we're gonna go out and back in. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10. And just remember, you can make it a lot harder by going a lot slower if you want. And there's 12, there you go. Standing off to the side, you can, again, if you want, use the chair, brace yourself. You can use the wall, or if you want to use your core and you have really good balance, you can do it this way as well. So we're gonna go straight out and back. You can use this arm as balance if you want. 
four, five, six, seven. So this leg is not locked. It's slightly bent to give myself a little bit more balance. Again, use your arm as balance or the chair if you want to. And 12, there you go. Last one we're gonna do, grab those light weights. You can have them in tight to your body just like so. We're gonna do it as a squat, so you can go hips back, sit down over the heels, excellent. Make sure that those knees don't come past your toes and you're going straight down and straight up. You can use the chair, again, same thing, tapping with the fingers, down and up, down and up. Just go to the point where you feel tension in your quads and that's as far as you wanna go. So don't worry about how far you go down. The idea is you're getting a workout in those quads in the front area. Three, two, one more, and done. Excellent, guys. That's the circuit. You can do it as many times as you like. You can run through it as many times as you like, give yourself a break in between, or you can do each exercise individually. Minimize, uh, minimize three times each time. And there you go. Guys, I hope you're well. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon.